Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rami and I'm currently 39 weeks and four days today. I'll be filming what I packed for my hospital bag. So if you guys didn't know, if you guys are new here, I am a labor and delivery nurse as well as an OB-GYN nurse. I kind of know what the hospital has for moms that they have available. Um, I've posted a few of these kind of videos before on my TikTok account um, and I know a lot of moms commented that, oh, like the hospital ran out. Um, of this certain thing or the hospital that didn't provide me any of this. Normally every hospital does have these things. Um, maybe they just didn't offer it to you, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So if you are worried that the hospital doesn't carry any of these things, just go ahead and bring your own stuff. But I am going to go in with the assumption that my hospital does carry it and just not bring any of those things. And if they don't have it, we live like 12 minutes from the hospital. Kevin can just run back and grab some of those things that we need. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the video and get started. By the way, if you guys were wondering, um, I was taking some photos earlier for Pink Blush Maternity. I have a discount code down below. No, this video is not sponsored by them or anything, but it's just a cute like waffle knit light spring dress that I'm wearing. Um, it's definitely bump friendly. I'm about to be 40 weeks, so see the big old bump <laughs> exciting thing i'm also in her nursery we are almost done building it we just have a few finishing touches um so i am so excited for that and i'm so excited to give you guys a tour of her nursery as well let's get started i'm gonna start off with the bag it still has a tag on it because i'm lazy and i haven't taken it off this bag i just got on amazon i put it on my registry so one of my friends actually got this for me um, I loved it because it had 8 million pockets and compartments and if you know me, you know I love all of those things. And I think as moms we love a lot of pockets so kind of just opened it up. I emptied everything out to show you guys. It has a big old compartment in there and it actually comes with like a um, changing pad that you can just kind of take out and change your baby wherever. It's all folded up nicely and there's like some netting in there that you can stick it in which is pretty cool. I don't think you guys can see it, but um, there's a inner pocket in there with a zipper so you can, I don't know, put your wallet in or your keys and kind of keep them safe down there. And there's also like a little mesh net pocket on the side. This part is kind of cool. You can put like cold milk and things like that. It feels like it's kind of like a like lunch bag almost. Um, it's kind of like a pocket part that goes inside the bag. Of course, there's a zipper on top. Um, you can just stick some extra things in there which is so cool um, and just lots and lots of pockets for bottles here is for definitely the breast milk right here i'm assuming um or formula this is just the exact same thing on the other side has some stroller straps which is pretty cool and then just a front compartment oh wow that's pretty cool you can like literally fit so much in this backpack that's so awesome so yeah, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you guys are interested in um, getting this backpack from Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks, honestly. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys that I am bringing to the hospital is this Boppy. Um, this is a breastfeeding pillow. I know the like Boppy lounger was discontinued and this is not it. This is just the breastfeeding pillow. Um, I just left it in the plastic baggie so it doesn't get all like gross, like dragging it around the hospital until the baby's born. Um, you literally just put it around you and it makes breastfeeding so much easier. <laughs> the moms that have this that I work with, like it is life changing. Sometimes the hospitals are like low on pillows and like we can't find pillows anywhere. And like the mom only gets one pillow to like prop her baby up and it's so sad. I always try to look for more pillows for my patients. It's just like an awkward position if they don't have enough pillows. Um, so this thing's a lifesaver. Get one of these if you guys are planning on breastfeeding um, or even formula feeding. It'll probably help a lot better um, holding your baby, especially if you have like a C-section or something like that. You can hold your baby a lot easier. Just lay your baby across the bobby pillow and then feed your baby um, formula. So I think it is great either way. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to stuff for baby before I move on to just stuff that I'm gonna bring for myself. Honestly, I don't have a lot for her because the hospital will provide quite a few things. They have things like little onesies, they have sleep sacks sometimes, it just depends on the hospital. Uh, we had shirts, hats, diapers, we had formula, we had like the sensitive brand, the regular brand of formula, we had literally all of that stuff. So I am not bringing any diapers or wipes or formula. Um, I do plan on breastfeeding, but I am not bringing that to the hospital because I know they have it there. 
And if they don't, Kevin can just run back and get some, but they have to put diapers on the baby right when the baby's born. So I know they have those in stock. So all that's left is her little clothes. I have a little onesie that she can just hang out in while she still has like the vernix and everything before she had a bath. Just like a little cute like onesie. So I brought that. And the other one's gonna be just her going home outfit. I'm not gonna bring 20 outfits for baby because I'm not planning on being there that long. And even if we were there that long for like three or four days even, babies don't take baths every single day. They literally take a bath like once a week when they're newborns. So um, two outfits is more than enough for her. And I'm just gonna show you her going home outfit because by the time this video is up, she's most likely going to be born. So it's just a little cute purple onesie. And then it has little pants that go with it and a little bow that you just kind of wrap around and tie. So that's gonna be her cute little going home outfit. And I just brought, I think I should get two pairs of these. Um, one for when she's not clean and one for when she's cleaner. Just some socks and mittens cause babies like to scratch themselves and everything whenever they're born. So I just got one of each, but I think I'll throw another one in there. Another thing I got is just this giant burp cloth. Um, I got this off my registry as well. So it turns into this and then it, you just throw it over and you have so much room on either side in case baby spits up. These giant ones were highly recommended by everyone. So I definitely threw one of those in there. I just brought these little like cheapy washcloths um, in case she just needs them for like wiping down her mouth a little bit while she's in the crib. Um, you can even use it for bathing. I just got these little cheap washcloths just to kind of bring in case she needs it. So last few things are pacifiers. This is just a nuke one. Um, any pacifier honestly works, but um, I got this as a gift. I haven't sanitized it yet. I think I'm gonna sanitize it at the hospital if she needs it because pacifiers can actually cause nipple confusion in the first few days um, of having a baby. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it just yet. So it's just depending on how she latches and breastfeeds. So I just brought those just in case. The next two things are just some little blankets from my registry. They're like little swaddle blankets from Mom Cozy, and they're really cute. I think I'm gonna use this one for like her like newborns, like just put it in her crib and take like little pictures with them. And this I'm gonna actually use just to swaddle her, and I haven't washed these yet, so I should probably do that. <laughs> now I'm just gonna move on to the last part, which is just stuff for me. So the first thing I'm definitely gonna bring is some nipple cream since I am planning on breastfeeding. This is just the Ansono, I don't know how to say that, nipple cream. I just got like a little travel set from one of my friends during one of my baby showers. So uh, I'm just gonna bring one of these with me. And then the next thing is gonna be the Haka pump. Um, you kind of just put it on your breast while she is breastfeeding on the other side so it catches any extra milk um, while she is on one side so i think i'm going to use this i'm debating on whether i should bring my pump or not um not really sure about that hopefully we're in the hospital for 24 hours and she's solely breastfeeding exclusively breastfeeding the whole time but if i need more milk i'm hoping the haka will give me good results but if not then i would have to use my pump so i'm still debating on that i don't think i'll bring it or need it um, but she might like drop in weight and I am a gestational diabetic so she might need a little more milk just to keep her sugars regulated so that's why I'm still debating on that make sure you bring some comfy clothes to the hospital um, but I'm just bringing like a few basics when I get there I'm going to go in the hospital gown and stay in the hospital gown until I deliver because I don't want to have to throw away any cute robes that I buy for delivering. Well, I'm just gonna change into their gown, and then after I deliver, take a shower, and then change into my cute clothes afterwards. The first thing I have is just this basic um, like maternity tank top, and it's like good for pumping and everything. You can take off these things. I guess it's good for breastfeeding and pumping as well. Um, you can just take these off at any time. I got this from Old Navy. I am bringing this really cute soft lounge set that I got from um, Pink Blush Maternity as well. It is literally the softest, most amazing thing. So I can't not bring it and it's awesome because it's like post bump friendly. Pretty much everything on their website is post bump friendly. So you can definitely wear it after pregnancy. And this is just my robe that I am bringing for afterwards. Lightweight pink robe. Um, this is from Mother Bee Maternity. They are so affordable and I really love this robe. It's really soft and cute and I can't wait to wear it. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is just this stuff I'm bringing from Freedom Mom. My lovely friend so kindly gifted this to me from my registry. 
If you guys are expecting or planning on becoming pregnant, I'm sure you've heard of these Freedom Mom upside down Perry bottles. Let me show you guys what it looks like when you open it. It is so cute. <laughs> It comes in like this kit, like full of cute stuff. The upside down Perry bottle comes in like this little like wrap right here. And this is so cool. Like it goes like this and then it just like just use it upside down. The Perry bottles that we have in our unit um, is actually just like a regular bottle and it does not work when you tilt it upside down. So I am so excited to use this one instead. Just push it down and it saves room and stick it back in your little bag. It also comes with a few ice packs. It comes with four ice packs. This is something our hospital also provided. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring two of my own just in case. This is something that the hospital also provides is just these um, like briefs like hospital underwear, postpartum underwear. Um, but I'm gonna bring a couple of these as well. They're so cute. There's four of them and they're like, it says they're boy briefs. These are really cute. They just go like this, hospital undies. Can't wait. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna bring two of them. It comes with four. I just wear them like on my last day. It also comes with this cooling pad liners I'm gonna bring. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these just because it has witch hazel in it and we have like uh, witch hazel cooling pads They're called like tucks that we give to you like unlimitedly at the hospital But I'm gonna bring these and kind of see which ones I like better and also comes with this perennial healing foam That I'm really excited to use. This is a foam. It's actually a witch hazel foam So I'm gonna see how this works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that as well and that is pretty much it um, for the mom side. Just some random things I'm gonna bring. Um, extra is just a memory card with a lot of memory. This is 128 gig. Just to do my birth vlog and film everything while I'm over there. And just some things I didn't include were just like my hygiene bag, my belly oils I'm gonna bring, some like comfy like t-shirts. Um, if I think I need those shower slippers are a big one. Do not forget your shower slippers I have had so many moms that have brought tennis shoes and they forget their shower slippers and they have to walk around the hospital barefoot I'm, sorry, but the hospital floor is probably really dirty. It is not clean 24 7 um, Of course, it's like clean whenever you leave the room and everything I'm gonna bring some comfortable slippers um, I'm just gonna bring some regular flip-flops grab whenever I go into labor and head to the hospital because I use my hygiene and toiletries and belly oils every single day, so I haven't added that to my bag just yet, um, but everything else is pretty much ready to go. I am so excited. She will definitely be here in the next three days at least because I'm scheduled to be induced because she is growing way too big in there and she needs to get out. She has an eviction notice and we're gonna get her out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like and a comment. And yeah, tell me if you use any of these items um, whenever you go into labor yourself or tell me what helped you because I'm a first time mom. Um, but yeah, I also see all this stuff in the hospital. So I kind of feel a little bit more prepared um, coming in and having all the stuff I need. Another huge thing to bring is an extra long charger. Um, the plugs are in the most random places and sometimes they're super far from your hospital bed. And especially if you have an epidural and you have to be in bed all the time, you have a catheter in, you will want that extra long charger so you're not having to leave your phone super far away because your family members are gonna be calling you up every 10 minutes asking what's happening, asking for updates, asking where the baby is. So do not forget that extra long charger. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and support me and the baby. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.